Today is October 26, 2024, and I have booted into Focal Pup 32, uh, Puppy Linux, a 32-bit uh, uh, ISO. Uh, I have a uh, bootable USB stick, which uh, I have booted into, and uh, we can take a look at the uh, inside of that uh, USB. And here's a Linux uh, folder that I've created. Within it, there is a Focal Pup 32 and Bionic Pup 32. And um, but we'll be adding today a a third uh, Jamie Pup uh, 32 uh, into this uh, bootable USB stick. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing, obviously, we'll have to go to the um, download site, and um, this is the site that uh, where you can download the uh, uh, Jamie Pup 32, and uh, this one here, and you can just go ahead and go down to Assets, and then uh, so Jamie Pup 32, this is the one you want. Right click and then uh, download download here and then I've actually already downloaded it uh, so it's in my uh, download uh, folder so next what you want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, um, open up the uh, SC uh, uh, USB stick bootable USB stick and and create a uh, a folder so here We'll uh, go ahead and give it a name of JP, and then uh, so directory and we'll get JP and create. So here is a JP directory. What we want to do is insert necessary files into the JP uh, folder. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Click left click. We want to mount this image. And as a general rule, what you want to do is to copy all the .sfs files. And in addition, there will be two more files. So we'll grab all the .sfs files. In this case, there is only four. And then when we need this initrd and v vmlens. So, uh, so there will be uh, six uh files that needs to be copied into jp folder so we'll drag it and copy this takes about five minutes uh, so I, I actually have a uh this is a usb adapter that has a micro uh, sd card in it so this uh, micro sd card is 16 gig, uh, gig and so i can put many more uh, uh puppy linux but we'll continue on after uh after this is copied. Uh, copying is uh, successful by just clicking on it and you can see the files is in there so we can just back out and then now we want to close this uh, 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 the ISO and then you can just click on the original ISO and it'll just uh, unmount it. Yes we want to unmount it so so that's all done so now what we want to do is we want to uh, make a grub uh, so menu list in my case because this is a legacy BIOS it's not a, a more recent UEFIO BIOS so, it's, so normally what you want to want to do at this point is just use the uh, grub for DOS but here this is where my uh, uh, USB uh, bootable disk is and then if you try to search within it, which is the correct uh, uh, one, you, you won't do it because uh, we've uh, put it into a subdirectory rather than the, at the root level. So what you have to do is do it the uh, old fashioned uh, manual. Uh, and then I'll tell you how, I'll show you how to, uh, how to uh, edit the uh, menu list file. So we'll close this, or we'll just go back out. And then here is this, uh, again, bootable disk. 
So here's a menu list. We want to take a look at that menu list. Uh, right click on it and we'll open up in Genie Editor. And uh, here it is. So I have presently I have a uh, Bionic Pup and uh, a Focal Pup uh, which I'm uh, booted into. So now we want to uh, create a, uh, a Jamie Pup. So here so this is the one we want to create uh, so it will boot into using this uh, USB so what we can do is do it manually so we'll just get a uh, make a copy of this and then put it below and then change the name so we're gonna uh, make this JP Jamie Pup and here we're gonna have to use JP again and then floppy and here we're gonna use JP let me just uh, make sure so we're gonna just call JP and then JP again JP now here at this point you'll notice there's pub SFS uh, parameter which usually will not be present but I put it in because it makes uh, uh, it allows the quicker uh, loading of the appropriate files so in this case JP the file uh, this is this is the file from uh, for FP. So we n what we need to do is we need to replace this here with JP. So here is the file that we're gonna be replacing with. So rather than just trying to grab the, um, so what we can do is just go in it, and then review the contents, and then backslash will tell you the uh, name of the file right there. So we're going to go ahead and drag it and then uh, click copy and then we're going to substitute it right here. So control V and here it is. We substituted but it raised the uh, uh, backslash. So here's the correct file. So the correct file is uh, it's been inserted subdirectory here it should be JP again and everything everything else uh, on a side note P fix uh, probably you you boot into it faster if you just add no copy uh, comma without any space uh, before the file uh, system check command so you can just add that and then everything else we're gonna again uh, JP and then you can look at uh, make sure that there is a file so under JP there is in it RD uh, GZ there it is there is a uh, in it RD uh, GZ uh, same here and v VM lens so there is a VM lens so this is all done correctly and then we're gonna save it now when I boot into this uh, USB stick I should get uh, three choices BP, FP and JP so I'm gonna uh, automatically try uh, just the default setting will be a uh, two because then it will be JP so this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. So we'll just make it uh, default 2 and it'll be the default uh, into JP. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you because the uh, screen's uh, recording, but I will take a picture and then we'll continue on from there.